Well, Bakersfield joined the rest of the world yesterday in mourning the passing of one of the nation's most influential first ladies, Nancy Reagan. And today we're learning that she will be laid to rest Friday at Ronald Reagan Presidential Library right alongside her husband. 23 ABC's Alicia Patillo spoke to local GOP leaders today who shared their memories of the former first lady. Alicia? Jackie, the love Ronald and Nancy Reagan had for one another captured the hearts of a nation. The former first lady devoted her life to protecting America's 40th president, and her legacy will linger near and far, especially here in Kern County. Charlton Heston once described their affair as the greatest love story in the history of American presidency. She was the perfect model of a supportive and loving wife to the president of the United States of America. What started out to be just a casual meeting between two Hollywood actors would turn into a White House love story. Ronald Reagan and his beloved Nancy met in 1949, and by 1952 they were married. And the world saw Nancy and Ronnie fiercely devoted to one another. President Reagan was Governor Reagan here in California before that. And she'd been by his side all that time. As Ronald Reagan took office, Nancy was right there, his partner through it all. But in 2004, Ronald Reagan lost his battle to Alzheimer's, a disease that Nancy Reagan and her family dedicated their lives to fighting against. In October of 2013, Ronald's son Michael spoke at an Alzheimer event in Bakersfield on behalf of his father. The Alzheimer's Disease Association of Kern County says Michael spoke highly of his stepmom. He just said she was very close and such a great caregiver for his dad. And that's not the first time a Reagan left a mark here in Kern County. Nancy Reagan was a surprise guest at the Bakersfield Business Conference in 2003. She was welcomed with a standing ovation. Long after the death of her husband, Nancy continued to fight against the disease and move mountains in the political world. She's amazing, and the way she loved her husband throughout the, the whole journey of Alzheimer's is amazing. Today, President Obama ordered flags to fly at half staff in honor of the former first lady. Reagan will be laid to rest Friday at Ronald Reagan Presidential Library alongside her husband. Nancy's stepson, Michael Reagan, wrote on Twitter, Nancy is where she has always wanted to be with her Ronnie. Now she's at peace. ABC News will have more on Nancy Reagan's passing up next on World News tonight at 530. Reporting live in studio, Alicia Batillo, 23 ABC News.